As a nation, we could do with eating more healthily, and that's a fact. Despite our best intentions to incorporate the government's two-a-week fish initiative, it seems that the level of fuss associated with preparing fish is just that bit too challenging for us, especially when time is of the essence. In fact, according to research conducted by Lion Seafood, around 40% of us Brits are not getting our fill of fish and seafood. So why aren't we eating enough seafood? Well, it seems that many of us are discouraged by a series of fishy fears. But are these concerns based on fish facts or maritime myths? I eat seafood when I go out to eat, but not very often at home. Well, if we know what I was doing and it was more straightforward, then I definitely would be tempted to cook more fish at home. A bit smelly and a bit awkward and messy, really, to actually give it a go myself. <laughs> it seems to be quite complex, so I, yeah, I avoid it. <laughs> so here are the top five concerns about cooking seafood, as well as my quick and easy tips on eating more fish. Some fish, such as kippers and Dover sole, are often packed with bones. But if you look around, there are so many that are bone-free. Prawns, scallops, crabs, mussels. Actually, I'd suggest you go to the supermarket, explore all those seafood delicacies they've got on offer, and you'll find a fish that suits you. You might think that fish such as tuna and sea bass are quite expensive, but there are really affordable ways of incorporating seafood into your diet without breaking the bank. Fish such as herring and mackerel, prawns, mussels, even sardines. And the best news is these are also good sources of omega-3 fats. If you're cooking for the family, this is definitely the time for some tried and tested strategies. A traditional fish pie or fish cakes will persuade most fish-fearing kids that seafood can be tasty and fun. And what's more, you'll be giving them some healthy omega-3 fats too. Not all fish smells the same, and most seafood has very little odour in it, especially if you buy it pre-cooked. But if you are particularly sensitive to strong smells, I'd go for varieties like prawns, crayfish, mussels, or even squid. Now, I know that celebrity chefs tend to make quite complicated dishes, but I like to keep things really simple. And when I'm preparing and cooking fish, I might, for example, just drizzle on some lemon juice, add my favorite lovely freshly chopped herbs, dash of olive oil, pop it in the oven, pan fry it or under a hot grill. If you're short of time, you can buy pre-prepared quality fish, which gives you all of the goodness and none of the fuss. And when it comes to seafood, you can get prawns and squid that are already pre-cooked. All you have to do is heat them up. In fact, you can even have them cold. And they are full of goodness because they're low in fat, low in calories, rich in protein, and low in that all-important harmful saturated fat. of fish and seafood is that there is so much variety out there giving you plenty of opportunity to get your two servings of fish a week so why don't you go down the supermarket aisles or your fishmonger and see what they have on offer might give you a chance to put your fishy fears to rest <laughs>